Lab results are back from water testing in Lake Conway, and those results conflict with what the Arkansas Department of Environmental Quality has reported since the Mayflower oil spill. An independent scientist said he has written proof that remnants of that oil spill are in various locations of Lake Conway. By April 13th and 14th, his lab results showed clear signs of multiple elements consistent with oil and tar sands. Uh, we're showing parts per million and some very dangerous volatiles, toluene, without getting into the details, toluene, ethyl benzene, uh, 15 parts per million. Smith tells us his testing remains completely opposite of the results that ADEQ has released. Smith is adamant the major discrepancy is the testing Exxon and our local officials have conducted are just on surface water and their results clearly show that. The water column is, is defined as what is beneath the surface and above the bottom. So if you're a fish or you're a kid, you're in that water column. That's where life is. And what I first witnessed in the BP spill four years ago was samples being taken for a split second from the surface. If you're truly going to know what exposure is over time in the water, you don't want to take it for a split second. No one's, the fish doesn't live in the water for a split second. No one's in the water for a split second. You don't bathe for a split second. So why is it, that, that makes, that makes perfect sense to me, right? Crews with Water Defense say the way the state is testing does not measure like their foam technique that soaks in water over time. I learned that these instantaneous water samples don't make any logical sense and that something else needed to, if you're really going to track something, you need to see what accumulates over time what's in the water because no one's in the water for a split second. What we're doing here is we're testing the water column because there are metals, there are semi volatile there's a whole range of chemicals, and people think because there's no black oil, uh, it's, the, it's the clear, colorless, odorless chemicals and the metals that are moving around that water column right. that we need to fingerprint.